Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video we're going to be learning how to create a shape component dynamically via code. So when you create a component dynamically, you have to set all, all of the properties and events via the code. So let's start. So now so we're going to be creating this shape component via this button, on click event. And the shape will be displayed in the scroll box. So let's start giving a, a variable for it. We'll say uh, then the shape of type T shape. Then shape color equals T shape dot create. And then the owner, which the great constructor expects, the owner is basically responsible for destroying the components. So we say FRM home because we want the form to be responsible for destroying the component. And then we say then shape dot parent. The parent will be the scroll box because we want the um, shape to appear inside of the scroll box. Also, you can go and read this um, note about the difference between owner and parent. You can pause the video and read it if you want to. So let's continue. Then shape, let's align that then shape to the top. L top. Okay. Uh, L top is part of the T align. Oops, not non L top. Okay. Let's also give it a height. And shape dot. Height, let's give it out 100. And let's give it a random shape. Then shape dot shape colon equals um, it is a type part of the T shape type. Then here in brackets, you can say dot and give it a shape here. Or we can just choose a random one by saying random. Okay, so we just will pick around a number between 0 and 5. So, yes! Let's compile and see how this works. Let's make it a bit smaller. Maybe 15. Let's also make that this. Okay, now let's create it from the top to the bottom because when you create it, you haven't set a top property for it. So it's so top is currently zero, so it's being created from the top. Just remember that. Because here are some of let's create a few of these. Okay, there are different ones are created, different shapes that are supported. That works. Let's just give it a random color a color as well. Um let's add a new variable. <coughs> let's give it a random Pink color and a random uh, pain width as well as a random oops random brush color brush type integer. Let's, let's actually go here and assign randomize at the start. So let's go by pain color equals random give some random number there same goes for the brush I brush and then the I paint with let's make it between zero let's make it mm, not sure let's make it 15 okay then we just assign this to it then shape dot paint dot Color, color equals I pin, then shape dot pin dot uh, width is the I pin width, and then last one, then shape dot brush dot color, color equals I brush. So now we have different colors as well, as you can see, different sizes and everything. So it's just random colors. And things to it. 
Okay, so now let's give these components different, um, or this, these shapes different events. Let's, give, let's just give all of them an on click event. Okay, to do that, go to the public declarations. Let's add a procedure. We'll call it um, then shape. I guess get colors. Okay, sender the objects. Basically, we want we want this procedure to give us the different colors of the things when we click on the shape. Then here we just add procedure the event home dot. Okay, so now let's get this. Var, and this will be of type string. Make it like this. I just like the shape that is currently clicked on. We just we use this sender parameter. So we say let's start, well, let's start with the pen. A pen. Oops, we don't want the web of this. Sorry. Okay. A pen colon equals sender as the shape we say dot um, pen dot color okay but we'll have to convert it so we say color to string there you go same goes for the brush let's copy and paste this instead of pen we just have brush here Let's have a normal show message. We'll just say a brush color plus the ace brush. We can plus um, hash, I think it's hash 10 hash 13. Should basically put a bit of space into it, like a line break. You'll see now. Now, this is the pink color okay so now let's go and assign this this procedure to the shape dynamic shape then shape dot uh, okay it doesn't have an hmm it doesn't have on click event but it's assigned it to Mouse enter. Okay, let's assign to the one mouse enter. This one. Let's compile. Now shape script. So now when the mouse enters it, then it shows us this. As you can see, let's create some. Let's go onto this one. Then it shows us the brush color and the pen color. Let's click it, and now it shows us this one. This one we because we entered it. And now it will keep showing up because we actually enter. Let's go here. Okay. Now let's enter this one. As you can see, this one is now the brush, brush color, the paint color. So every time the mouse um, enters one of enters one of these shapes, then it will display us the um, brush color and the paint color. That won't work now because I'm actually holding my mouse in on the scroll bar. But yes, let's actually go do this one here. Okay. So this one's brush color is that and pen color is that okay so this is basically just my phone fell anyway um for whatever basically it was how to create a shape dynamically and so if this video helped you in any way please make sure to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next video bye